Hi, it's Katie, and this video is gonna be a Cornell University campus tour, which I've been wanting to do for a very long time now. I've got some sick drone footage to show you that I took, and also my friend Nick took. I filmed this over the period of a week, so you might also notice more fall foliage in some of them, and more summery shrubbery in some of them. But I hope they all give you different perspectives and insights into Cornell life. Here's a little bit about the Cornell campus. Notice there's a lot of greenery, a lot of parks, because Cornell is located in upstate New York, which is pretty rural, suburban, if you will. We have a small town, but a lot of it is just beautiful nature. We're known for gorges, lakes, and you'll find a lot of these peaceful and scenic spots around campus. so we're all dressed up and you know surprisingly Cornell weather always pulls up on the right days that's true like smoke I, day it, it, didn't, turned out. it didn't rain yesterday for the fireworks like, I know last year. yeah yeah and today yeah. it's the football game and concert and it's so sunny and warm Here we have Noise, which is a recreation center, so it's where students can hang out. We have our gym here, we have ping pong tables, basketball court, people play volleyball, badminton, whatever here. And we also have gym classes and also a convenience store inside. Okay, right now I'm going to show you the entire stretch of West Campus, starting from the leftmost side to the rightmost side. We started with Noise, but after that we have five main houses on West Campus. And basically on West Campus, there are two kinds of dorms. One is a main house and the other one is a gothic. So we have five main houses and five gothics. The main houses are the nicer ones with dining halls, better facilities. The gothics are older buildings, but I believe they are just as spacious. The gothics don't have elevators, so that can be difficult for some friends I know who are on the eighth floor and had to lug all their luggage up there. But if you're familiar with the North Campus housing, I would say the main houses are the equivalent of CKP and Muse. The Gothics are an equivalent of Balch. Arts Quad, which is where a lot of our humanities courses and people who are in the arts and sciences college supposedly have a lot of classes. I'm in arts and sciences, but I barely have any classes here. Also, I am out of breath because of the slope. This is Sage Hall, and it's the graduate school for business here at Cornell. Then across it is Statler Hotel, which is the building for our hotel school. In fact, we are number one in hospitality schools uh, for undergrad nationwide. So our hotelies have a lot of pride here. I am also taking a class in ILR this year, which is the School of Industrial Labor and Relations. It is a New York State school, as you saw on the building, which means it is supported by the New York State government, which so a lot of people in ILR, if they're a New York State resident, they pay half the tuition, so they make it more accessible. I passed by the Cornell store on Hope Plaza, which is where the clock tower is. A bunch of the most popular libraries are also around that. I just finished my last prelim or midterm, so I'm so stoked. I feel so light. I'm gonna grab dinner with a friend in College Town. There are just some frat houses around here. Guys, I'm so upset. 
upset. I forgot to bring my camera. I came all the way to the vet school, which is so far already. Vet school is so nice. Look at those libraries. Cornell Dairy Bar. It's actually part of Stocking Hall and there are a bunch of other classes here like this winery class that is one of the most popular and iconic classes at Cornell. How it works is basically the entire New York State has a law that a citizen cannot drink until they are legal age of 21. All except students who are part of Cornell University's wine tasting or making class. So that's something very special here. Fun fact, all the ice cream at Cornell is produced by Cornell and the class I'm taking right now, Intro to Food Science, actually culminates in an end of the year project where we make our own ice cream flavor and if we win, our flavor will get sold at the Cornell Dairy Bar and distributed on campus. I'm vlogging in the bathroom. There's nobody in here. This week has been pretty rough because I had three prelims or midterms this week, so I'm out here in the library grinding. I'm gonna go back around midnight though. It's 11 p.m. right now. A lot of students come here to grind when they got to do. I'm also going to end this campus tour video right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it and gave you a better idea of the Cornell campus. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and subscribe because I am a college student hustling, trying to make YouTube academics and extracurriculars work. Classic, over-involved, and trying to be ambitious teen in college. If you're new to my channel, I have a ton of Cornell videos. I've talked about Cornell culture, debunking myths, and I've done so many vlogs in my freshman year and I'm ongoing for my sophomore year. So make sure you go to my channel or click the playlist down below because you will learn a ton more about Cornell if you're considering applying here. Please leave me a comment. I love reading them and hearing what suggestions you guys have for future videos. Come early to my videos. I pin one of your comments every week. The earlier you are, the better. Thank you for watching. I will see you in less than a week with another new video. Bye guys!